सो नाउ वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट अ न्यू चैप्टर दैट इज पॉलिनोमियस सो फर्स्टली वी शुड नो मोर अबाउट मोनोमियस एन एक्सप्रेशन हैविंग ओनली वन टर्म इज कॉल्ड मोनोमियस लाइक एक्स थ्री एक्स एंड फाइव एक्स एंड वॉट इज बायोनोमियल द एक्सप्रेशन विच हैव ओनली टू टर्म्स मोर देन वन टर्म और ओनली टू टर्म्स इज कॉल्ड बायोनोमियस ठीक है लाइक टू एक्स प्लस वन थ्री एक्स प्लस वन x plus वन all are the examples of monomial, binomial sorry. so trinomial. if एक्सप्रेशन expression has more than two terms or we can say that just three terms, then we can easily say that the expression is trinomial. we have a example 3x square plus 4x plus 3 is a example of trinomial. what makes the term sum when we have plus sign और माइनस साइन बिटवीन टू नंबर्स बिटवीन टू नंबर्स दैट इज कॉन्स्टेंट एंड द वेरियबल देन वी कैन से दैट इट्स अ टर्म देर इज टू टर्म्स ओके सो वेन आई शुड राइट एक्स प्लस वन एक्स इज अ वेरिएबल एंड वन इज अ कॉन्स्टेंट बिकॉज वेरिएबल्स आर ए टू जेड एंड कॉन्स्टेंट्स आर जस्ट रियल नंबर्स और वी कैन से दैट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर आर ऑल्सो इन दिस कैटेगरी बट यू आर इन वेरी वेरी जूनियर क्लासेस सो सो वी हैव नो नीड टू लर्न अबाउट कॉम्प्लेक्स नंबर सो वॉट इज द डेफिनेशन ऑफ पॉलिनोमिस एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ मोर देन टू एलजेप्टिक टर्म्स एस्पेशली द सम ऑफ सेवरल टर्म्स दैट कंटेन डिफरेंट पावर्स ऑफ द सेम वेरिएबल ओके इज कॉल्ड पॉलिनोमिस सो in this chapter we need to study more and more about degree of polynomial because you have already study in class 8 so in this chapter we need to study degree of polynomial the first topic zero of the polynomial what are the zeros of the polynomial is the second topic third topic is remainder theorem fourth topic is factorization of polynomials by splitting the middle term and factor theorem and the very very important part of this chapter that is algebraic identities i am showing you algebraic identities on this side okay you can take the screenshot of these identities and you can learn all the identity so we have first exercise that is exercise 2.1 which of the following expressions are polynomial in one variable and which are not state reason for your answer The very first question is 4x square minus 3x plus 7. This is the polynomial or not? This is the polynomial in one variable or not? Yes, it is a polynomial. Yes, it is a polynomial because there is only x. There is only x. We can say that this is a polynomial in one variable. Okay. Uh, now we are taking question number third that is 3 under root t plus t under root 2 this is the polynomial in one variable no because the power of t is not in whole number when we have the power of variable in whole number we can say 1 2 3 4 up to infinity then it is a polynomial in one variable otherwise it is not the polynomial because the power of t is in fraction because under root t is also equal to t whole power 1 by 2 so now another question so question number 2 write the coefficient of x square in each of the following when i was a child my teacher gave me a very important hint about the coefficient uh, she told me just think about the neighbor just think about the nature so we need to find the coefficient of x square it means we need to find the neighbor of x square neighbor neighbor of x square so the first question is 2 plus x square plus x so just see x square who is the neighbor of x square many of the student think thinking that 2 is the neighbor but not correct Two is not the neighbor. Just see the neighbor of x square. That is one. If there is no number, then there is a one. Okay. Uh, okay. Another question. 
pi by 2 x square plus x. What is the coefficient of x square now? Yes, pi by 2. Pi by 2 the pi by 2 is the coefficient of x square. So next under root 2x minus 1. What is the coefficient of x square? In this question, there is no x square. So x square is not present, hence no coefficient. Or you can say that 0 is also the coefficient of x square. Okay. So for more videos and more lectures, just subscribe our channel and follow us on Instagram. Thank you everyone.